Yes, sir. We're still looking for your son and hoping that he's alive. And want to know if you could help us maybe give us a better location if we showed you a map. I already told you that, where he was. If we showed you a map, would that help? He, he, he's on East Brooks and Marshawn in a manhole. Can Mars you look Dale? at the map? Oh, Marsdale. I'm sorry. Body camera video there showing the moment. Pammy May confessed to police about the day she killed five-year-old Darnell Taylor. The video is difficult to watch, but it, it recounts the moments that led to this crime two months ago. We are certainly glad you're joining us for 10 TV News at Noon today. I'm Tracy Townsend. 10 TV's Angela Ann spent the last couple of hours looking through that video, and it is difficult to watch. It, it really is, Tracy, and there's a lot that we actually learned out of that video. Mm -hmm. The confession itself was about an hour long or so in that moment where she was talking to detectives. We know that Pammy May was the legal guardian of this little boy, but during that confession, she referred to Darnell as her son several times, and she described in detail how and why she killed him. Now again, many of those details are just too graphic, but Pammy May did not hold back, telling detectives from Columbus that she, quote, wanted to tell the truth. She talked about running after her husband called police on Valentine's Day morning, saying that that little boy was missing, prompting that Amber alert. She also said he ate snacks in bed the night before, which triggered her to kill him while he was sleeping. May even used the word premeditated as she told police where she dumped Darnell's body hours later in a sewage drain. That was several times she admitted to detectives this very same message. At least you had children. I had a son. I took the advice, so yeah. Now, there is much more to her confession, which we will have for you later today on 10 TV News at 4, but we know Pammy May has pleaded not guilty. Her attorney has asked for a private mental evaluation and said he will likely change her plea to not guilty by insanity. So certainly a lot more on this, Tracy, to come in the months ahead. All right, thank you for joining us this afternoon, Angela.